First at 11, a horrifying discovery leads to murder charges against a Detroit mother. Good evening and thank you so much for joining us. I'm Amira David. And I'm Mike Duffy. The body of three-year-old Chase Allen was found in a freezer last week. Tonight, family members gather for an emotional vigil in his honor. 7 Action News reporter Kiara Hay spoke with Chase's aunt and grandmother who say they fought to save his life. Mike, the family wants me to let everyone know that Chase was loved. And when they knew something was going on inside that home, they say that they tried to get authorities to come in and rescue Chase and his siblings before it was too late. Three. Today, green and white balloons were released into the sky, remembering Chase Allen, a sweet, soft-spoken three-year-old who was tragically discovered decaying in a deep freezer at his mother's home in Detroit. He did, he, did, he did not deserve to go through what he went through. Tyshawn of France was Chase's aunt. She says Azra D. France, who was Chase's mother, has a history of abusing children. And she and her husband received custody of Chase when he was just two months old, when the mom of six got all her children taken away. She should have never got her kids back after that. Azanti Sauls is Francis' sister. She says the last time she saw Chase in person was last summer, and his head was bigger than his body. She says she fought with her sister to take the child, and when she refused, she says the family called CPS and DPD for months, but were told there was nothing they could do. Even when we tried our hardest, in this moment right now, it makes us feel like that we didn't try hard enough. Last month, Saw says Chase, who went blind about a year ago, was burned. His mother claimed it was because he touched a cup of hot noodles, but CPS got involved. And she says the state was supposed to be doing checkups every three months. CPS, they failed us. They failed his family. They failed Chase. Today, baby Chase's death was ruled a homicide, and Azra D. France is now facing murder, first-degree child abuse, torture, and concealing of death charges. I can't even sleep. I can't sleep. I cannot. France's mother, mourning the loss of her grandson, is sickened and outraged that he could have died at the hands of her own child. No, that's not my daughter. I brought a monster into the world, didn't even know it. Azra D. France is due back in court on July 8th for a probable cause conference, and she will be before a judge on the 15th. As for the other five children, they're now with family. In Detroit, Kiara Hay, 7 Action News.